the stupid, stupid game. It does not work. Every single time I launch the game, I have to launch it two times in a row because of the incompetence of the engine and the developers of this game. Oh my gosh, it's connecting the online services. Okay, can't wait to play some multiplayer. Oh wait, they don't have a browse server. They only have a browse server on Portal. Okay, let's look at Portal. Let's take a let's take a gander at Portal. Wow, XP, XP kill Afghanistan farm, PVP, XP, farm XP, bots, XP, Mega XP grind, XP 1000 farm, damage, one hit no kill, 100% damage, 1000% XP farm. All of these are XP. There's no point in Portal if they're all just going to be XP farms. And I need to begin with a ping on these servers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're lucky if it gets below 300. If I go into Conquest 64, then that's just gonna be half the players on the same size map, so that just means that there's gonna be way less people than there already is. Why is it still driving? Thought somebody was driving towards you to pick you up. Look at the graphics of the game. They're the same as the last game. I've been playing Battlefield games since I was nine. That's the only reason I play them. Is Can you move in a little? <laughs> Say Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> Oh, our first Christmas. What are we? Where is this guy? <laughs> Both sides have the exact same. They don't even have operators. They have random people like it's freaking Apex Legends. Why is my car white? Oh, it's probably just the skin. Whatever. <laughs> what are the car physics in this game? Wait, I'm going into that group. Let me say this right now. I've been playing this game since it, the day it came out. And since then, I do not think more than three maps have been released. This is how many maps have been released on launch. And this is how many maps they've added. Do you see this map? The layout of it. It's just rocks. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. They could have just scrapped a whole bunch of stuff that took them way too much time to work on. The weather system does absolutely nothing for the game's gameplay. The overall gameplay is actually hindered by the weather system. And then out of nowhere, a hurricane comes out of nowhere, blows me to smithereens, and rips me into the sky, killing me instantly. Say, it's, it's good for traversal, but only if you're Sundance. That is the only character that it actually helps is Sundance. It only helps one character. I don't even know why they spent three years on a weather system if almost every single map doesn't even have the weather system the aim mechanics are actual dog water the, the actual engine was glitched ea came out and said this but they knew it was they finally patched it because everyone was tweaking out that their bullets were doing nothing and their aiming in took forever they had to shrink the size of the maps because there was so much nothing that people hated the game because of how much nothing there was Remember Battlefield Firestorm? Battlefield 5, medium game mode, Firestorm. And it was received so negatively, they thought it would be a good idea to make an entire game. They realized that people don't want to play Battle Royale. Okay, so um, I guess we don't want to be like Warzone and we don't want to be like Firestorm. So all I'm gonna say is, I think that was a really great decision on their part to not do it, but I, I, I also think it was kind of stupid because they also made maps ginormous so there was no point in scrapping that idea anyways if they were gonna make maps kilometers across i don't get the point in scrapping that idea i remember whenever hourglass first opened i would be running for a solid couple minutes without seeing a single person only to get sniped by a sniper a couple seconds later i feel like they should take notes from call of duty at this point and just start pumping out a game every year there is no way dice is making any money off of this game oh and yeah don't even start on the in-game purchases the skins are dookie the skins are so mid you have to pay around $15, I think it is. When has Battlefield ever had a battle pass? Never. Battlefield has never had a battle pass in the past. Not a single game besides this game. And that's how I know that the next game is not gonna be good. People are gonna get their hopes up like they did with this one. They're gonna release a fire trailer. People are gonna get hyped up. And then it's just gonna turn into this. It's gonna turn into a buggy mess when they first launch it. And they're gonna learn nothing from their mistakes. Oh yeah, oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I think it's insane how people spend so much time 
creating a game that is so garbage that I pity the people who spent time on this because that is time that they will never get back. Think about how much better this game would be if it had three more years on its hands. It would have made up for the three years of bug fixes they would have had to make. I feel like they just developed a game around a weather system and then put it into three maps and then called it quits. What? Oh, um, that was close. Yeah. Maybe I just mute you, Zach. Why? Why would you mute me? Because <laughs> I can hear you through his mic anyway. These names have to be the laziest names ever. Turning point. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is the turning point where I turn around, <laughs> delete your game, and never hop on it again because the update was trash. Do you know how much it is to get an heirloom? in apex legends it is no five hundred dollars if i whenever i look at another enemy and i shoot them they might have had an heirloom they might have not had an heirloom i could care less if i see someone with a wraith heirloom if i see someone with the octane heirloom i will not care i will not care because it doesn't matter it has no value to it the only value to it is the ego that you get from swinging it around and hitting people with it. Not a fist At game. It's not Mike Tyson Simulator. It's Apex Legends, where you run around with a gun. The AI in that game is smarter than the AI in this game. They could've just copy-pasted, dude. It's not even that hard. That's what they do with most of their games anyways. That's what they do with their- <laughs> They copy-paste everything. Why can't they just copy-paste the AI code? Oh, I can't run with our new engine. What new engine? <laughs> Go off the old engine. If this engine sucks booty anyways, go off the old one. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm just gonna put up like an image of it. Yeah, that thing. That thing is every single gun in Battlefield 2042. This man-made creation is a seventh wonder of the world because I wonder where it went wrong. And then whenever this game was about to release, they said, oh, guess what? There's a whole city, there's a whole like town that's, that's, that's like revolutionized. This is the town that's fully revolutionized. Look at this. It looks like a Roblox asset. You can't really destroy things in Battlefield 1, but there's still way more destructible things in Battlefield 1 than there is in this game. That would be the coolest thing known to mankind, but no, they can't even do that. They can't do a single thing in this game because the developers of it are sucking on their thumbs trying to find out where the bottle is. And what they're putting into this game is just buy one, get one free. I feel like I'm walking in a Walmart every single time that I play this game. The only th difference between a bean running around with a literal rod and this game are textures. There's no point where I am thinking that this game is better in any way, shape, or form than any other Battlefield game. Three years. It's just the, 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 the soul has been stolen from this game. They spent three years on a mid-weather system. Maybe they thought it would add, like, something memorable to the game. I don't think it's memorable at all. I think it's the only reason that it's gonna be remembered at all is because of how bad it was. Nothing they do will clean their record of how bad the game was. The only thing that I can see being better is making a new Battlefield game. And they have decided to postpone that for another year. So I don't think we'll be getting another Battlefield game for you know, probably till like 2026, 2027, I don't know. Well, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and sorry for going on a little bit of a rant there. I post uh, once every uh, two weeks, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyways, uh, bye-bye, everybody.